All right, today we're talking about logarithmic functions. So when we talk about graphing logarithmic functions, it is the inverse of an exponential function. So this one is the inverse of two to the x. And the way we know that is because they have the same base. So if we look at two to the x, it's gonna look something like this. So when we talk about the log, because this one has a horizontal asymptote that's the x-axis. That means the horizontal asymptote for the log will be the y-axis. And then basically instead of being on the y-axis, it's gonna be on the x. So it's gonna look like that. So this is your y equals two to the x. And this is your y equals log to the x. Graphing these is not terribly important, but the key thing you need to know is that it's always positive. X always has to be greater than it greater than zero, must be. That's what they talk about domain and range. So how do we graph the transform ones? Well, once again, it's like the other ones. This right here is your asymptote. So this one's gonna be x equals negative three. So that is gonna be your asymptote for this thing. So if you're gonna graph it, you just go one, two, three. And then all you have to do is go one to the right of it. And then there's your logarithm. So as I said, it's not terribly important. Just the key thing is knowing where the asymptote is and where the graph goes. Go ahead and try this one. So something that's more important is finding inverses. So inverses, once again, we say y equals 10, x plus y. Switch X and Y. And there's a couple ways from here. You can rewrite it as a logarithm from exponential, or you could just solve. I'm going to go ahead and solve. So log X, log 10 to the Y plus 1. Well, these cancel. So you have log X equals Y plus 1. So you have log of X minus 1 equals Y. And now we have f to the negative 1 of x equals log x minus 1. So that's how you find the inverse. Go ahead and try this one. Try this one. So what if we do the inverse from a log? Same story. I'm going to go ahead and skip a step. So log 7 of y plus 5. So how do we get rid of a log base 7? Well, we 7 both sides. So we get 7 to the x equals y plus 5. So 7x minus 5 equals y. So that's our final answer. g to the negative 1 of x equals 7x minus 5. g came from the original, by the way. Go ahead and try this problem. Try this problem. 